Hey guys, Dark with Cycling FPV. It is Friday and it is pouring down rain outside. So anyways, I promised a customer, I did the video yesterday uh, regarding the Mobula, the Mobula 6 here and binding it to the TX16S and the QX7. It's hung up right behind me, right there. Anyways, uh, customer still has a problem. The problem is that his he doesn't have the right drivers loaded in order for it to work with beta flight. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do, okay? Only thing is, is that on my laptop, I've already got the drivers loaded. So I'm just gonna show you how I found out the drivers, which ones they were, and then I'm gonna show you what you need to do to load them, okay? So here's what we do. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put on the computer screen here. So let me go ahead and put this, uh, let's do it just like this. There we go. So right now you guys are seeing the website for the STM32 drivers, okay? So what, what I did first is I went to, I clicked, uh, right click on the start menu, start button here, clicked run, and then I typed in the word control and I clicked okay. All right, and what that does, that opens up my control panel. Then I went to device manager. And under device manager, I'm gonna find com ports, right? And when I find com ports, I click it down, there it is. I have the STM Electronics virtual com port. That's what runs the Mobula 6, okay? So what you need to do next is you go back to your beta flight page here and look, Here's the latest STM, that's what you're doing. If it was a CP210, then you would do this one, but it's the STM, so you're gonna click that. So it says click here. Now you're gonna click there, and it's gonna take you to the STM32 page, okay? And as you can see, I've already downloaded it again. So what you're gonna do then is you're going to scroll down and you're gonna click the get the latest, okay? Now, if you're not logged in, you need to create an account. I am logged in, it's free, you don't have to pay for it, but you're gonna to wanna to click this and download the latest software. Okay, once you download it, it's going to go to your downloads folder just like this. Uh, let me get to mine. Okay, and I'm just going to open the file here. You have to extract it, but I'm just going to look at it. Okay, so these are the files that are going to be in there right now. I run the Windows 8 version and it's fine. The window, I mean, they're all there. These two have worked fine with me. Find the one that works for you. The Windows 7 also, also worked fine, but I've run the Windows 8 X64, 64 bits, or whichever one. Just Select the one that closely matches yours. Obviously, I'm running Windows 10, but these still work with mine. Okay, and I don't know if they've put something in here. Let me see if they put something in their version text. They may have increased something here just to see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, here goes. Install Simplify by use Windows OS, new features for Windows 10. Uh, uh, use Microsoft Inbox driver and not this driver. Okay, I used this driver in Windows 10 and it worked with no problem. Um, so let me just make sure version 1.5 install simplified better experience in Windows OS for Windows 10 use Microsoft inbox driver let me see what it does this because when I did that I was able to use this with no problem so I'm going to copy and let's go to the web real quick I don't think that the drive that comes with it is the one that I want to use, to be honest with you. And that was one of the things that we had a problem with before. So here's here's how this is going to work. I'm actually going to delete mine and I'm going to start all over. So watch what we're going to do here, just so you can see that you can use it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uninstall the device and I'm going to delete the software, okay? All right. And basically I'm going to try to get my computer to when it was not having the software uh, loaded. So now I'm going to do a action scan for hardware changes. Should recognize something again. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to, if it puts a STM again, I'm going to delete that driver. You get you have to keep doing this until it finally just disappears. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do an uninstall and I'm going to delete that driver. We'll just keep going for a minute. So just give it a minute. Okay, we'll do action. Scan. Okay, you see how it says we're setting up? This means that the STM driver is not loaded anymore. So now it's just doing a search for this one, okay? And it's called USB serial device, right? <clears throat> so all I'm going to do, now I'm going to go to that file right here. Uh, let me go to my downloads, and I'm going to extract this now. Even though I've already got it extracted somewhere, I'm just going to extract this again. Okay. Okay. Let me click it, and let me see. I'm going to use the, uh, let's see, let's do, uh, let's do Windows 8. Let's try this one. Okay. I have a 64-bit system, I know, so... And I'm going to leave this in the side so we can watch this as this progresses and see if this, this USB serial device changes. Okay. I'm 
just going to minimize some of my screens here. stuff open. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to populate. It's still loading, right? So you can see, there we go. So you can see this here. Here's the installation. So it does take a few seconds to get it going. Once you do that, click next. Uh, I don't care. Let's just make a page. Right Who cares? Uh, Cyclone. FPV, next. Uh, let me see here. I think I just better put my full user. Alright, there we go. Alright, next. Next. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and install it. And now it brings up another installation dialog box right here. Click next. And let's see if this changes right here. Okay. It should disappear. And this should change and then it should drop down again and update it to STM. So let's just give it a second. See, there it goes. It's already changing. Boom, there it is right there. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, once you do that, <clears throat> your board will, there you go, now you click finish. Yeah, I'm not gonna restart right now, but you will wanna restart. Okay, and then I can easily disconnect and go through the rest of my steps so I can get on. Now, if you don't get to that point where you even see it as a USB device, then you need to make sure that your cable is not a charging cable, make sure you have an actual data cable. If you have a charging cable, you won't be able to connect no matter what the drivers are. You'll hear it, but you won't be able to log in, okay? And those are pretty much the steps, guys. <coughs> if you have any questions about that, let me know. At the same time, all the links are there. Just make sure you register on the STM Electronics website. I normally would try to share that file, but they have rules about that, and I respect that company's rules to say, look, we'd like people to sign up and register the email address so that if there's any support or updates or anything else that they need to let you know about, they can let you know. All right, other than that, guys, please, as always, I would appreciate your support by asking you to please subscribe to our channel and let others know about us. Okay, we are in a new facility, and even though it's pouring down rain, we got a lot of work to do today. Uh, and uh, beyond that, same thing as always, it's Friday. I hope you get to spend some time with your kids and your family. Uh, remember, make the most of it, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so go enjoy some time with them. You can always fly later. Talk to you later, guys. God bless.